How y'all doing everyone? Welcome to Blake's Garage. Today is a uh, Saturday. It's a nice 4th of July weekend. It's a little rainy outside. But uh, we're in the garage and we're going to be working on this golf cart that I just recently picked up. I've got some electrical items I want to add and um, we're going to get started on it. So this is my 2016 Easy Go Express S4. We just picked it up last weekend. I'm going to use it to run around the neighborhood, take the dog for rides, go get the mail, things like that. Um, it's a base unit, doesn't have any upgrades, no radio or anything like that, so we're going to work on adding some fun stuff. So I've got the spread here of all the things I've picked up. I found underneath the dash over there that, that there's a 12 volt leads that are hot all the time. So I'm going to add this six junction distribution panel to allow me to easily connect things under the dash and not have to run wires all the way back to the battery every time. I'm also going to install this three port USB charger for charging your cell phones or whatever it is that we're using for music. I'll put a couple of lights on the front. It has headlights and they work pretty well, but this would be more for off-road if we go to the park or go fishing after dark or something like that. These will give out a lot more light. And last but not least, I'm going to put in a Bluetooth amplifier to push a couple of speakers. I don't really need a full-on head unit. This will work just fine. I can hide it under the dash and I can push music to it from a phone and um, get my tunes on while we're cruising around without a whole lot of effort. Um, unfortunately, this one was dead on arrival, so we will not be installing it today. I'm waiting on the replacement to come, so we'll see how that goes. This is the area of the cart we're going to be installing everything on. This is the part that's underneath the cup holders down here. I just popped those out. We've got some wires under here. I can't find any wiring diagrams online that tell me what they are, but I found that the red and black back in the corner there are hot all the time. So that's a direct feed from the battery. So I'm going to connect my power distribution panel from there tuck it in the back underneath there and then it'll give me an easy access for everything I want to connect later on. So I picked up this really nice electrical connector set from Amazon, 250 pieces, it was about 12 bucks. And it's got the built-in um, where you can heat it up and shrink it down to seal up the connections. So we're going to be using these to make some pigtails to connect this to the factory wiring. The factory wiring already has some spade connectors on it and I don't want to cut those off so I can take it back to factory if I want. So we're gonna make these up and connect everything up. All right, so we got the spade connectors on there. I got the shrink wrap sucked down, nice and sealed up. We're gonna use a couple of these ring terminals here. They fit on the distribution panel input. So we're gonna use those to finish the other end of the cables and that'll complete our pigtail. Okay, so we got the ends put on there. I got the heat shrink shrunk down, went ahead and mounted them up onto the distribution block. That is a black cord and it just looks red from this side. So we're gonna go ahead and get it installed on the cart and uh, move on to the next step. Okay, so I got the distribution block plugged in under there. Went ahead and connected my voltmeter here. I got 12 volts on the one with the fuse in it. So everything looks good there. I'm not gonna secure it just yet because there's a lot of other things going in under there and I wanna make sure I have room for everything and room to allow the cup holders to snap back in. So we'll get to that step later. All right, so I went ahead and put the cover on the distribution panel. I'm gonna go ahead and close it up for now. I've got some other things to get done today. Um, we'll work on the other projects as time allows, but uh, for now, this one's done. Check it out. Cool. 